Imagine sitting at a high school football game in the stands and over the loudspeaker you hear a racist comment or a comment that many people deem offensive. Well, what do you do about it? Well, parents in Jackson County, they contacted us. Let's bring in Liza Lucas, who's social distancing in Fulton County at her home right now. And Liza, what's the district being doing, doing about this? And what are people saying about it online? That's right. Well, we've had hundreds of comments in response to this story, which we shared on our Facebook page. Parents of students at Jackson County Comprehensive High School say that they were really caught off guard by the game announcer. They say he asked fans to wear a mask to prevent the spread of, quote, the Chinese virus in reference to COVID-19. I saw families that I knew that were Asian just literally hold their heads down and just look toward the ground. And I knew exactly what they were thinking. That was Susan Martin speaking right there, who sent a complaint to the superintendent. Now, 11 Alive reached out to Jackson County School Superintendent Dr. April Howard, and she told us that the district and school have addressed the situation with the volunteer announcer, who has also apologized. She added that Jackson County Comprehensive High School prides itself on providing a very inclusive environment, she says. The unfortunate use of that term in no way represents the feeling or climate of the school or the school district. But you can see the comments coming in from Minerva right there who said COVID-19 is too difficult to say, question mark. Others saying maybe he shouldn't be allowed to announce another game and that he needs to apologize. Again, the district says that they have spoken to this volunteer announcer. He did apologize, but let us know this morning how the story sits with you. We've got an active conversation happening on our Facebook page right now. Liza, thank you. I don't see any other way to go on this, Fran. I mean, uh, it is clearly offensive, and for us to kind of dodge a, about whether we should be upset over this or not, words are hurtful. And um, yeah, and, and, and to have those parents sitting in the stands and to feel singled out like that, um, it, it just hurts. It hurts to hear about that. It definitely does hurt to hear about that, Sheba. I mean, we've heard leaders in this country use that terminology. And of course, what do you expect? It does trickle down. Um, I think 2020 is the year of the people. And I think people need to realize their voice and how powerful they are. Mm -hmm. So um, the people in Jackson County, I know they watch our newscast. They need to band together and make sure that they have a say in who is that announcer, someone who is mm -hmm. commonsensical enough to not be disrespectful. And again, just like he made that public offense, offensive remark, then maybe he needs to do a public apology mm. over that loudspeaker or to the parents mm. and everyone who was sitting in that game because I'm sure he apologized to the district or yeah. you know after they talked to him but it needs to be just as public. Yeah the announcer has uh, since apologized but yeah I'm, I'm with you on that I don't think that's a bad idea at all because it does not sound like the volunteer announcer has been fired for this. You know a lot of those Asian parents upset but we should all be upset that's the thing we should all be standing side by side on many of these Everybody. issues. Yeah.